Hi guys, this is Paolo from Write Padding. And if you're a designer like me, you must probably experience using SVGs from Canva and finding out that it actually does not work in Elementor because it does not change color. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make it work using a single line of code. So here on this example, uh, we're actually using a button element. It also actually works on icon lists and icon boxes. So, uh, but in this case, we're going to be using uh, a button element. So here, let's just remove the icon and let's go to Canva. And here, uh, we can select any SVG element. So usually we go to elements and then uh, search for something. So in this case, I'm going to add and then uh, let's see here. We can try to use this one. And then we can even try to change any color like this one. So here. Uh, we now then download this as SVG, though just uh, FYI, um, SVG downloads for Canva is only available for pro users. So there's that. Let's go ahead and download this. Here. So here on this button element, uh, let's upload that custom SVG from Canva. So here. here. So now this is actually what we usually experience, right? So on the default and hover state, it actually does not change color. And if we go to the style, we there is no option for changing the icon color. Even using um, icon list widget here, I'm just going to insert it for you guys. If we upload the SVG and then we style it, as you can see, it actually does not change color. So this is really a challenge for us. But don't worry, a single line of code will fix that. So let's I'm going to delete this. So let's go back to the button. So in the custom CSS, we just need to add this um, line of code. One is for the default state and one is the hover state. So let's just flip this one up. And so as you can see, the SVG icon, SVG from Canva actually works. So let me just quickly explain what happens here. So on this first section, it's actually a code for the default state. So this is the default state. And then the second one, we are going to be using the hover sudo class. So on this, we're going to, um, every time someone hovers the element, it will actually, you are setting the color. So that's it. Um, that's how simply or simple it is to make the SVG from Canva work. So if you do have any questions, please comment down below. Please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.